the Bible says, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you. Amen. So we need to give thanks, amen, for everything. Come on, somebody. We got to thank God. You just don't thank God when it's good. Come on. You got to thank God when it's bad. Come on, somebody. He said, in everything, give thanks. Come on, somebody. Jesus said, in this world, you will have tribulations. Come on, somebody. You're not separated from tribulations. Come on. Jesus didn't tell you you wasn't going to have them. He said, in this world, you will have tribulations. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Come on, somebody. And I'm glad to know today that my God has overcome this world. And he also said that greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. So if I have the greater one in me, I'm able to overcome any circumstance, any trial, anything that comes my way. Why? Because he said in his word, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of Concerning you. And God's just woke me up this morning. I had, uh, Brother Todd, I had so much thankfulness in my heart. That's it. So much thankfulness in my heart. God dealt with me all night and I woke up, texted my wife, told her, I, I love you, baby. I mean, I just had so much thankfulness in my heart. God said in everything, son. He says, son, I don't even think you understand the season you in. You done dealt with the good and the bad and the ugly. You in a season of honey. You in a season flowing with milk and honey. Somebody help me. And, 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 and if you watch this, if you're connected to this ministry, you in the same season. about what God is doing. Don't miss service. I'm telling you something different is happening every service. And God began to show me, he said, son, just give it. I was so overwhelmed with joy. Elder Johnny. Yes, sir. For my family, for my church family, for what God has done in my life. I have truly been thankful. And God said, I want you to let my people know. You know, God wants us to give thanks always. The children of Israel was an example to us. But God showed me something in scripture. I want to read you something. And I'm, 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 I'm going to try to, to act, behave. But if I don't, it ain't my fault. Uh, is it all right? Exodus chapter 1. <laughs> You've heard me come at this before, but you know, God, one thing I love about God's word is he'll give you something fresh mm -hmm. every time. Yes, sir. Every, his word is just always refreshing. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 1. I want to start at verse 7. Are y'all with me? Amen. And the children of Israel were fruitful. Somebody say fruitful. fruitful. And increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty. And the land was filled with them. Are y'all with me? Yes. This was the time Joseph, amen, they had favor that time, amen. And they were and, and they grew. The scripture says. They increased, they abundantly multiplied, waxed exceeding mighty, and the land was filled with them. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt that knew not Joseph. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel, this is a twofold, this is something I'm giving to you. This is not a particular lesson. This is twofold what I'm about to share with you tonight. This is the first part that you're getting tonight. And then the second part you're going to get tonight. Amen. So God gave me something twofold for this house. Amen. Amen. That we need to see it as a ministry. Somebody say amen. Amen. He says, and he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel 
are more mighty, mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply, and it come to pass that when they falleth out any war, when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. So get them up out of the land. Therefore they set over them taskmasters to afflict them. Somebody say afflict. afflict. To afflict them with burdens and they built Pharaoh's treasure cities, Python and Ramesses. But this is what I want to get to. The more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. Oh, come on, somebody. And they were grieved because the children of Israel. It says the more that they afflicted them, the more they increased. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes. The affliction caused the increase. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> in everything, come on. give thanks. Come on, I'm, 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 I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm going somewhere now. It, it, God said, in everything, give thanks, for this is my will mm -hmm. concerning you. Yes, sir. Not in some things, uh -huh. but in everything. Yeah. And then he said, go to Exodus, and I want you to show you something. The more they were afflicted, uh -huh. the more they increased. Come on, sir. Oh, somebody help me. Oh, man, come on, somebody. And then watch this. It says, that not only did they increase in numbers, but they also grew up. Mm. Woo. So they increased, and they grew. Mm. It says they multiplied, and they grew. That word grew means broken through mm. to break out to burst forth. Boy, y'all, 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 I said, see, see, that affliction caused increase. On, sir. Uh -huh. But not only did it cause increase, it caused a breakthrough. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Ooh, so yes, sir. See, on. you can have breakthrough without affliction. Right. You better help me up in this place. Yes, sir. And God said, watch this, son. He said, the more they were afflicted, this is the first half. Uh -huh. The more they were afflicted, the more they grew. Come on. Now watch this. God said, son, he said, I, he said, I know you got a question behind it. Yes. How is it that I'm looking at the natural? He said, look at the natural. I'm going to show you something spiritual. He said, they, they, they afflicted them more and they had more babies. Woo. In the natural, the more they were afflicted, the more babies came. Now, God says, Son, I'm going to show you something about in the spirit. The more you afflicted, mm -hmm. see, affliction calls intimacy. Yes, sir. Yes. Come on, yes, sir. Wow. Yes. Come on now. Uh -huh. wow. See, in the natural, they got intimate from their affliction. Uh -huh. right. Right. And God said, this, The natural is a picture of the spiritual. Your affliction should cause you to draw closer to me. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, your affliction should cause you to get intimate with me. Yes. And when you get intimate, me, intimate with me, there should be a breakthrough. Yes. There should be something that breaks forth. There should yes. be something that comes forth. You should be given. That's good. That's good. Boy, ain't nobody shouting with me. What's this? He says something should break out of your intimacy. Uh -huh. Come on now. Huh? So, so now you look back and say, wait a minute, I'm going to look back at that affliction. I, I, I need, if affliction is coming, if affliction has came, uh, look at how you pray. Aren't you a little closer to God? Come on, somebody. Didn't that make you pray a little more? Huh? Didn't that cause you to get on your knees just a little more? Huh? Uh, didn't that make you cry out just a little more? Huh? Uh, didn't that get your knees and you got a little more palaces on your knees? Huh? Uh, didn't you fast a little more? Huh? And God and while you were doing all that, you were growing and multiplying. I was causing things to break forth out of your life. God said I was causing things to break through, to break out, and to break forth. Right, 
He said, you prayed a little more from your afflictions. It caused you to multiply. Man, uh, I, that's why I woke up this morning, Elder Johnny, with so much joy. Because God said, son, had not you had those afflictions, many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. Come on, not some, but them all. And even though you have afflictions, I've got good news for you. God said, I'll deliver you out of them all. But when I delivered you, you surely would have grown and multiplied. Somebody help me. God said, I'll never allow afflictions to come on your life without you growing. Yeah, come on. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. God said, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing that the trial of your faith produces patience and let patience have her perfect work in time that you're wanting nothing. Come on, somebody. you got to count it all joy in everything. Give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus. Give thanks, somebody, tonight for the Lord. They ain't even worried about what the doctor said. Mm -hmm. They ain't even worried about 
all that hell coming their way. Mm. How's it they still grow? Woo. Yes. My, my, my. Yes. <laughs> How is it that they're still being fruitful? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this is good stuff. Mm -hmm. God says, son, see, the, I, I can't preach what I ain't lived. Right, that's right. Come on, somebody. Come on, God says, son, the whole time the devil was afflicting you, I was looking at you grow. Right. The whole time yes. you were getting afflicted, mm -hmm. I was watching you increase. Yes. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And God is telling me to tell you today. Mm -hmm. That you need to be excited yes. about what God is doing in your life. Yes. There's about to be a breakout. Yes. There's about to be something that breaks forth. Yes. Come on, somebody. You, you, you say, man, how did, I, how did I lose that? You done suffered loss. God said, no, no, you ain't suffer loss. You got to suffer gain, man. You got to have some gain in your life. That loss calls gain. Sometimes you got to lose to gain. And God said that lease is about to end. Shouting. He said, uh, 
The reason why I'm shouting, because my team ain't up to bat yet. And when they get up to bat, I know they're going to knock a home run. See, God ain't up to bat yet. Every kindred, every tongue. 
that we're going to reach yes. in this ministry. Why? Because we, we, we got through the least. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And now it's time Come on, sir. for increase. Amen. Somebody give God a praise. Everything 
Everything. Give thanks. Give thanks. Everything. Exodus 3 and 7, it says, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Which are in Egypt. Egypt means bondage, a place, house of bondage. Mm -hmm. And I have heard their cry. Somebody say cry. Cry. By reason of their taskmaster, for I know their sorrows. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I and I am come down. Somebody say come down. Come down. Come down. To deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. And to bring them up out of that land unto a good land, a large, and a large, unto a land flowing, somebody say flowing, flowing. with milk and honey, mm -hmm. unto a place of the Canaanites and of the Hittites, the Amorites and of the Perizzites, the Hivites and of the Jebusites. Now therefore behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Y'all see that? Yes. God said, I heard that cry. This is, this is the other part. How many have been in that place? He heard that cry. They were being afflicted. How many of you have been afflicted? How many of you have been oppressed? How many of you have had burdens? Said they had burdens. They were oppressed. They were afflicted. He said, and I heard them crying out because of all that. The enemy was, a, was tearing them up, man. He said, I know their sorrow. How many of you have been full of sorrow? Also, I, I'm trying to help somebody because when you leave here tonight, when you leave here tonight, your attitude will be different. Yes, sir. You, 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 you was full of sorrow. You, you was the oppressed, beaten, burned, weighed down. And God said, I heard him. I seen it. Not only did I see you in your mess, I heard you. I came down to deliver you. Yes. Are y'all with me? Yes. Let's go to numbers. We got to watch out for this. I got y'all hyped up so I can give you this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> huh? Got you hyped up. So I can end it with this. <laughs> But you're going to leave here right tonight. Watch this. Numbers chapter 11. Numbers chapter 11. Tell your neighbor, don't forget. Don't forget. Where, you came from. Where you came from. Watch this. In, in, in Numbers chapter 11, it says in verse 4, it says, And a mixed multitude that was among them fell lusting. And the children of Israel also wept again. Now they have been delivered out of Egypt. This is in the wilderness. Are y'all with me? Amen. God delivered them from what they was crying about. Mm -hmm. So, amen, it says, A mixed multitude that was among them fell and lusty, and the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember, somebody say remember. remember. We remember the fish that we did eat in Egypt freely, but they were bound. So, <coughs> Come on. Come on. The cucumbers mm. and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away, and there is nothing at all besides this matter mm. Mm. before our eyes. Wow. The manna was something God provided for them. While they were in the wilderness. See, yeah. God provides for you while you have least. Oh, this is. I said I had to give you twofold. Yeah, yeah. See, see, they had they were in a situation, they left bondage. Yeah. They had melons and leeks over there. They, they had plenty. Oh, come on, but they were bound. Yeah. Come on now. Now they weren't they weren't they were they weren't complaining. They were complaining 
when they was eating freely in battle. Yeah, yeah. But now they done got out of the abundance, now they complaining. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, son. They get into a place where God has just given them just enough. Yeah. Well, yeah. Come on now. Oh, this, yeah. this is good stuff. God has given them just enough because he said, this is not where you're staying. Yeah. 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 This is just a test to see how you react yeah. in the least. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, come on, somebody yeah. say it again. Yeah. It's just temporary. Yeah. It's just a place where God's, I'm just, this is a place of testing. This is a place to see how are you going to react in the least. Uh, yeah. Ooh, somebody. Come on, come on. Uh, uh, this is just, this least, this place of least is just a temporary place to get you to the overflow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Because God told them in Egypt, I'm taking you to a land flowing with milk and honey. But I got to see how you handle the least first. Oh, this is a Sunday message. This is a midweek message. Man, we're going to have midweek service. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? What's this? Come on, Doc. What's this? He said, I got to see how you handle uh -huh. the least yeah. before I give you the increase. Yes, sir. Yeah. And they got to a place they could tell your neighbor, you don't want this to be you. you, don't want this to be you. They got to the least and started to complain. Yeah. God gave them matter. Now, watch this. Here's their attitude. We remember the pleasure, mm -hmm. but forgot the pain. Yes, oh yes, yes, oh my yes. God. Yes. Mm. Mm. Come on, yeah. You ain't got to say it, you just, you just look like it ain't you. <laughs> <laughs> just look like I ain't talking about you. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's amazing how when God deliver us. Come on, watch out, man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, You've been crying all that time in that mess. Yeah. But your pain was more than the pleasure. Mm. Because the same fish they was talking about in the lease was the same fish they was eating in the pain. But they were thinking about the pleasure in the pain. Oh, come on, somebody. They were crying out for deliverance and they was in pleasure. Oh, so. my, my, my. They, they didn't like the state that they were in, even though they had pleasure. Mm -hmm. Boy, God, I'm telling you, somebody better get this. And God said, I came down to deliver you out of your mess. Mm -hmm. Come on. I heard you crying all that. Oh, oh Lord, please. Come on now. Oh, just get me out of this mess. If you get me out of the Lord, I just, I just don't see no way out. Please, Lord. <laughs> so, Come on now. Who been there? Yes, sir. Come on. I just gotta get out of this. Girl, help me. I can't get out. I can't get out of this mess. And God, look at this. I see. I hear. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just come down mm -hmm. and deliver you. Mm -hmm. huh? Come on, somebody. I'm gonna come down. And deliver you. I'm going to take you to a land flowing mm -hmm. with milk and honey. But first, let's go through the wilderness. Mm -hmm. You won't lack, mm -hmm. but you'll have just enough. Mm -hmm. Because this is just temporary. They made something, I like how Sister Cynthia said this same thing. They made something temporary permanent. Mm -hmm. Something that was supposed to be temporary became permanent to them because of their murmuring and complaining. They were not content with just enough. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not. So they said, well, you know, we remember the melons and the leeks. And God said, this made God mad. God got angry with them. You mean to tell me y'all talking about, they, watch this, Moses says in 13, he says, where should I have flesh to give unto the people? For they weep unto me saying, give us flesh. They wanted something to please their flesh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy, this heavy here. This, this heavy y'all. It's quiet. No, they wanted something to please their flesh, but 
When you was in your flesh in Egypt, you was in pain. But when God got you out of Egypt, you forgot the pain. I just need something to satisfy this flesh. And God said, my grace ain't sufficient enough. Is my grace sufficient enough right now? Yes. Your lease is a setup for your increase. Yes. But in order for you to get to your increase, you must be thankful in the lease. Yes. Yes. In order for you to get to your increase, forget the pleasure when you was in pain. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can I say it again? Yes. In order for you to get your increase, you must be thankful for the least. You must be thankful in the least. You must be content for the least. You must be thankful for the matter. For the matter is enough to sustain you in the least. It's just enough. He said, don't take nothing over. Just get enough for that day. It's enough. Thank you, Lord, for providing for me today. You might be living from paycheck to paycheck right now, but living from paycheck to paycheck is not where you're going to end up. Somebody better help me. God said, I'm taking care of you right now. Are you going to praise me for right now, or are you going to murmur and complain right now? Because you'll never see the increase in that kind of state. Thank me for the deliverance. And thank me for providing. I said, thank me for the deliverance and thank me for providing. If you just thank me for the deliverance and thank me for providing, man, you're going to see the increase. But you got to thank me first for the deliverance and thank me for providing. What am I saying? You got to have an attitude of gratitude. In whatsoever state you in, you must learn how to be content. You must know how to abound and obey. You must know. And God said, when you can get that, he said, see, God said, I'm, I'm ready to break forth in this ministry. But I need some folks to come. We need to all be on the same accord. Yes. Lord, we thank you for the least. Because mm -hmm. God said, I, I, I operate in the least. Mm -hmm. He said, when you come into the land of overflow, I want you to get big headed over there. Right. I want you to remember where you came from. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Say it. Told the children of Israel, when you get over the promised land, hey, I'm the one that did this for you. Yes. All right. You ain't no different from the other nations. Hey, my, I just made a covenant with Abraham. Mm -hmm. yes. He said, when you get over there in the overflow, when you get over there in the abundance, oh my God, my God. don't forget where you came from. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, thank you. This is what I'm telling to the house. Because, yes. man, we about to step into some territory. Yes. Oh my God. And God said, watch this, he told me to tell you. We need to embrace the least. Yes. See, what they should have did was embrace the least. Mm -hmm. They should have. They should have celebrated in the least. Yes. They should have prepared themselves for the overflow. Mm -hmm. yes. The least time. God said, "We'll never see these days again." Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I'm gonna say it again. Yes, I close with this. We will never see this again. That's why we need to be appreciated now. Amen. Appreciated now. Because when we begin to increase, we're going to say, man, remember. <laughs> how, how good services we had. We're going to have some good services then. But man, we got to really embrace these times right now. <laughs> Despise not the days of small beginnings, man. God says, son, I, I, I love the least. 
because that's where I can bring increase. Mm -hmm. yes. And we need to embrace mm -hmm. these times, man. Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to be thankful right now. Amen. And we need to remember how God delivered us mm -hmm. out of our best. Yes. You know, I woke up this morning. God came and visited me last night in two dreams. Woke up this morning thankful. Let me tell you something. It's by grace that you're saved. Man, you ought to wake up and we pray with our family. We, we, we have family prayer every night at night. We stop everything we're doing and get in a circle and pray. Man, let me tell you something. Don't take life for granted. Don't take your children for granted. Because they can leave and never come back. But we wake up and we, we let the issues of life weigh us down. When we have too much to be thankful for. You are Christian. You shouldn't walk around with your countenance down. Because of the issues of life, man. Jesus said, take no thought for tomorrow. We're not like the world. We're not anxious for nothing. We're Christians. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Man, I'm telling you, I'm so thankful that God has called me into the ministry. I want you to go home tonight. And I want you to really reflect. Hey, let me tell you something. You may be a single mom, but guess what? God has provided for you and your kids. You may be a single father, but God is providing for you and your kids. You may be single, but God is with you. In whatsoever state you're in, man, be thankful. Because I'm telling you, somebody got it worse than you. And we're so busy looking on the other side of the fence. Man, stop that. Yes, yes. Thank God for your territory. Yes, yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. 